Yes. Am I, am I looking at you? Tell us what, yeah, tell us you're looking at me. Are we good to go? Left six, teeth, yeah, no, good. No. Yeah. Okay, so I can start. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Lots. Tea Tribe, the second episode of Spilt Tea, and my surprise guest host, Leanne Liebenberg. Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. I mean, I mean, did you bring the wind from Cape Town? It's just what I'd I like did. to know I because. To, yeah, I needed to regulate <laughs> So yeah, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to spill the tea this morning. Okay. So you're back from Cape Town and you know, there's always this thing of Cape Town versus Joburg. It's true. It is. Cape Town has got the most obvious things, obviously, but yeah. I think the stuff that Joburg has is something you can't really measure. Energy, the people. Energy here is so electric. It is so amazing to be back. Um, Let me fix this here. I yeah. feel rejuvenated. I feel energized. Cape Town's nice, but it's... It's a very slow pace and it's a little bit too slow for us. Okay. So it's nice to go there on holiday and I don't know. When you when you want to be a bit slow and a yes. bit more relaxed. Yeah. So whenever it's beautiful. It's whenever beautiful. I go to Cape Town, I'm always like, I'm moving here. That's it. Remember yeah. that was yes, our grand yes, plan yes. for us to live together. I needed you with me. I was like, move here, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. Come, come. Try to convince all my friends to come. All your millions of friends. And then they didn't. <laughs> So I have to come back. <laughs> Defeated. You know what? You can take a horse to water, but I mean... Yeah. So, so whenever I go to Cape Town, I always decide I'm moving there immediately because I'm so sort of taken with the nature and the beauty and the fact that it is voted as one of the best cities in the world. But for me, it's that pace. Yeah. I can do it for a little while, but then I need that energy and that electricity yeah. from Joburg. Yeah, I mean, for us, we moved down for security reasons because we got hijacked twice. And so we wanted to look at a little safe place for our kids and it was safe and was beautiful but it's just too slow for yeah. us. Yeah. For us. So we're looking forward to going back there a lot for holidays and all of that, but yeah. We're back home. Yay! yay. And this week was moving week. You yeah, know. <laughs> Not yay. So I messaged Leanne this week and she was like, babes, I'm in the middle of moving. And yeah. I've seen some of the pictures. Yeah. You know, moving is not a joke, especially when you've got kids. Yeah, I, I mean, know. boxes, toys, toys, clothes. Lots and lots of toys. So I have to go through every toy and see, you know, who, who does what belong to and who what can we give away. And they, whatever I put in a box to give away, the kids just unbox. Take back out. Yeah. <laughs> Unboxing. Yeah, and they're like, mommy, we're helping them. Like, Leave. Leave those boxes. <laughs> do not bring them back into my house. Do not take the toys out. So yeah, it's been you need to do exciting. that. You need to do that sex in the city thing. You know when you hold up a yes, no, no maybe. Yeah. But I think with Gia and Bella, it will just be. It yes, will be a yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so it's been fun. I I always like I always threaten that I'm gonna tidy the garage because I I'm a bit of a hoarder. I've got yeah. stuff from I've got stuff from school. My notes from sort of English. You do. <laughs> you do. Especially. especially me as the grammar Nazi, I need my notes yeah. from grade 12. Yeah. Um, but I think moving is such a cathartic thing it's because amazing. if you don't have to, like every weekend, I'm like, this weekend, you I'm definitely going to the garage and I'm going to go through that, those things. But there is always something more important. There's always something more pressing. Yeah. And it's been it. a year since I've been trying to, um, that I've been trying to clean the garage you know what you need someone else to come in and show the way yeah like what's that lady now on yes. netflix but everyone um, out of my eyes. that's his, all the memes i've forgotten her I don't name i don't have wi-fi at home yet so there's no netflix and chill for me <laughs> so i am like rushing to the shop buying data because my kid plays games on my phone and i can't get into my instagram I'm like, what the actual gia my phone <laughs> but we don't have wi-fi oh so my gosh yeah. so when's the wi-fi going to be installed nikki yeah. Please. Hi, Nikki. The yeah. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Listen, in this day and age, you have to have Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, yeah. what the actual, as We've we like to say. <laughs> so it's been a I'm big week the for bachelor. you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Listen, Leanne actually tried to enter me onto The Bachelor. Yes. That's actually what happened because yes. she's been trying to set me up. Yeah, I, yeah, she no. wants a wedding and all we need is a groom. Yeah. <laughs> got everything else. So Flowers. Yeah. Up, up, up. 
But we've got it. We've Just got send it. The group. <laughs> please. We'll give you our postal address, yeah, guys. <laughs> Auditions will be held here next week, Friday, same time, same place. <laughs> So, big week for you moving and also a big week in the world of fashion this week, obviously with the loss of a huge yeah. fashion icon and your Chanel bag, oh, yeah, Kyle Lagerfeld. I mean, a tribute, yeah. a tribute. Uncle Carl. Now, you know what I saw in so many interviews this week is they all spoke about, obviously he's, he was a creative director for Chanel for 36 years, longer than I've been alive. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just a little... She never wanted to tell me how old she is. So I'm going to try and figure out, I need, you, I need to know how old you are. Okay, I'm well, gonna, I'm gonna get you. not as old as 36. I'm going to get you. There's nothing so, wrong with 36. <laughs> no, nothing, age. nothing, nothing wrong with 36. Amazing. Actually become a woman. Yes, okay, well, I little look girl. forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I saw in so many interviews, like in Vogue, in Harper's Bazaar, in Elle, CNN, BBC, people speaking about um, the eponymous brand. Do you know what that means? No, I'm not. Okay, I've never so, heard of that word. Right? But in every single article, they spoke about the eponymous brand. Now, I'm a grammar Nazi. If I see words that I'm not familiar with, I always look them up. But I think a lot of people don't do that. Yeah. They're just like, ah, oh, eponymous, Carl, great. Eponymous actually means a brand that's named after you. Oh, wow. So if you had a brand, you'd call it Leanne Liebenberg or Leanne Thunderbolt, and that would be... be your eponymous brand. Say it slowly. Eponymous. 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 Oh, I'm an impressed Nikki. So you know, I mean, this, this, eponymous. this for me is an eponymous. Oh, it's stunning. Karl Lagerfeld yeah. glasses, and you know what's hysterical for me is that, and and this is not the case with Karl, is when people are alive, often they're not as celebrated as when they of pass. Course. But he was someone that was really revered and celebrated. But now, because it's the end of an era, people are going to want to get their hands on That's anything Karl Lagerfeld or anything Chanel. Yeah. And luckily, I picked these up at the airport on, on route Did here, actually. Them I picked them up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you steal I, them? Did you pick them up I, from the lounge? I made a transaction. <laughs> Did you pick them up from the lounge, Taryn? Or did no, you buy them? No, I bought them. There's a there's okay. a little store at the airport called Freckle Eyewear, yeah. a beautiful eyewear boutique, and they stock Carl Lagerfeld. I love, I love so, the box. Yeah. He was so, yeah, so and they cool, even say man. Carl, he was so, he was so super cool. cool. And and you know what? He was known for his like glasses, gloves, yeah. and that That's... sleeked back hair. Yeah. Just don't do the hair. No. You can do the glasses. No, not with this wind no, that you've brought from Cape Town either. <laughs> All grey. Yeah, Although the, that was so iconic. You can do the, yeah, but you can do the, And you, I'm allergic to cats, so it's not going to work. Choupette. The, so it's the richest cat in the world. The richest cat in the world. Sure. I mean, I could get over my cat allergy if yeah, Choupette could, wanted to come what visit. Allergy? <laughs> what allergy? What allergy? These are gorgeous. Those are beautiful, hey? I can see them actually wearing these. Let's see them on you, because you are the queen of the sunglass. Sun Let's glass. have a look. Yeah, you see... I, I mean, I, I almost feel like I need I to give them, them to up. you. <laughs> Sharon, look at that. Oh, no. So you always, you always wearing the most unbelievable sunglasses, I and I think that people wear sunglasses that don't suit them. Let me see what you're wearing okay. at the moment. So I'm wearing currently Ooh. these Gucci's. Ooh. A little bit of oh my gosh. Because we're back in the city. Yeah, you, that is a definite 011 <laughs> yeah, sunglass. <laughs> you can't wear those in Cape Town, no. babe. No, no, they won't serve you. <laughs> When you go for your oh wow, those are beautiful. So how do we choose sunglasses that match our face? Because I think you've got a face for every shape of sunglasses there are. But what about me? Like I don't have I don't have a face for every you kind do. of sunglasses. Put these on. Let me see. Okay, let me have a look. I love classic black ones like this. Look, that ultimately. Let me just have a look. It so quickly elevates the look. The look, and you just look classic. Mm. Babe. Babe. You want them back? No, want oh, you want milk? You can have them. <laughs> so I think, um, yeah, just go for classic. I know the kids these days wear all kinds of colors. Those that are under 36. You're under 30. <laughs> you can get away with it. But at my age, you know, you're also Something school classic. Mom. Yeah. You know, so I don't want to run around the school with funky glasses. And I mean, these are quite extra for the school run. What time is the school run? Seven. So you need them at seven o'clock in the morning because you don't do your makeup. <laughs> Always running into school with sunglasses on, so they think I'm mad. It might be raining, but they think I'm mad. But I'm like, I haven't done my makeup. Yeah, so you so need to wear I sunglasses. To, yeah. So either I sit in the car and send my kid on her own, or I come in looking like a uh, Chris Jenner. Yeah, <laughs> listen, I wouldn't mind looking like her. <gasps> oh, oh my god, what the actual? <laughs> it has been a real? huge week. Yes, it is real. How can it be that? How can one family? have so much drama 
I don't know. I see, these are, this just feels so natural on my face. I can't take them off. Yeah, you can wear them because I can see your eyes. You know what? I like to see people's eyes through their glasses. I don't. Oh. No, I don't like when people can see mine. Oh, okay. Uh, you know? Okay, if you haven't done your makeup. Yeah, you call them face <laughs> like, You have these like, huge ones. So that so, people couldn't see. Yeah, so this new. No. You know, you know what really like, bother, bothers me? Is people, I mean, cheating is unacceptable. Like, leave the person that you're with and be with someone new. But the thing is, is that it's not like this Jordan girl didn't know that Tristan was with Chloe. Yeah. Like, she's Kylie's best friend, she's part of the family. Yeah. How can one woman do that to another woman? Um, I, I can't, I don't know why she did it. Um, what I don't understand is why did Chloe stay with him? Yeah, after do, the do first, after the first do you, incident. Do we feel yeah. sorry for her? I don't feel sorry for her. It's sad. Yeah. Look, I think, you know what, when you're in the public eye and something like that happens, obviously the whole world knows about Nikki it. Nikki knows. He's not even allowed to go near a bachelor's for like a strip club or not. So it's, you can't. Yeah. You signed all of that away when you married me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can't be seen in dodgy places. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and, absolutely um, not. Yeah, and it's out of respect for me. Completely. Yeah. But also a guy, you know, and, and then people go, oh, well, men will be men, which I think is a ridiculous no, statement. Ridiculous. Absolutely not. You've that's committed to someone, you've had a child with them. Yeah. I think that's also the worst part is there's a child involved, you know, so you can't be selfish anymore. No. You actually have to be considerate of, yeah. the, of the woman that you marry, yeah. that you are having this, ba that you've had this baby with. It's and very sad. Look, that I mean, Kylie's looking for a new best friend and I think we should totally apply yeah. because hello did you see Stormy's birthday <gasps> last week My, but listen if I had all the money in the world uh, we but you do unbelievable birthdays for your kids I used to but I mean but Stormy's world has just no so that's a different level so she's trademarked Stormy World. I know. They, there's going to be a theme park, apparently. Oh, wow. And people are rolling their eyes and going, a Kardashian theme park. But I have to I'd admit, I'd, I'd totally go. go. I want I'd a carousel go. and I chips. I want to buy one of those big <laughs> teddy, this is a big teddy shed. <gasps> no, so... And the Stormy fries. I mean, I'd I eat fries if they were branded yeah, with Stormy. I don't eat fries. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? you know what this makes me think of? Do you remember? Yes. Do you remember when so I, I met... I, I need your mind. That's why we're best friends. <laughs> It's like, yes, I know, yes. I what am I going to say? I to bring you a tub today. And I wanted to bring a tub to have on the table and I totally but I forgot. I wouldn't have lost it. <laughs> no. So Leanne and I met over a tub of, over our, our mutual love for a oh. tub, tub of Woolworths gummies. gummies. Yeah. Okay, and I didn't believe that she would even eat Woolworths gummies. Yeah. But I've seen her in action, it's true. Yeah. And, that, yeah. <laughs> and where did you used to hide them? In your bathroom? Your was it the bathroom if, cabinet? If, yeah. Next to your bed? Yeah, I like just hide. Everything. And and, and we met over our mutual love for these gummy sweets and for our ability to devour. A, well, yeah. How much is that tub? A kilo? Jeez. Is it a kilo you know of how sweets? Much sugar that is. Yeah, that's a lot I've of sugar. Off sugar. Have you? Mm. And how's that working for you? Not good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how long has it been? <laughs> 24 hours. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been off sugar for 24 hours and all I've lost is 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> but my skin is glowing. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's products that can help with that. Yeah, so no, you don't need of to, course. You don't need to go off sugar. Yeah. So we met over our mutual love of yes. uh, Woolworths Gummy Sweets. And funnily enough, I mean, thinking of like Stormy's birthday and, and throwing something in celebration of somebody else, Leanne threw me an inaugural friendship lunch. Yes. Which I will never ever forget, and that's the birth of our Friday lunch club. Yes. I mean Fridays were not the same when you moved to Cape Town, and I'm very glad that you're back. And are we reinstating so where our are lunch we having club? Lunch? Wherever, wherever you want. Wherever you want. What so do you feel like? Drive, we have so many great restaurants, and you know that's you're like going. Where everywhere. are you spending a lot of time since you've gotten back? Restaurants. Yeah. Uh, we go. I don't know, like a few. I don't know, like the usuals. Because our very first lunch was at Bellini's. Yeah, but I haven't, I went, I, I've been back once and I want to go again. Okay, so we'll definitely go we'll for definitely lunch. Go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, you didn't give me a carousel and like eponymous fries. I will. I will. Did you see that? I will. <laughs> but like a blue cheese salad and a, you know, baked we'll sweet do. potato. It's totally cool. Yeah. yeah. Maybe with like a little tea on top or, right, so. or something like that. Okay. I'm in. You are not <laughs> at all. Not at all. I can't believe you're still single. Like, why? <laughs> Wow, that was just, <laughs> first cut is really the yeah. deepest. Listen, I did, I did get a DM yesterday, which oh, you'd yeah. be very interested to know about, from this Greek guy living in London. I love it already. Because I follow this group called Greeks in London. Yeah, why? I don't know, because... <laughs> why don't you follow Greeks in South Africa? Because I know all the Greeks in South Africa. Oh. 
Greeks in London. And this guy just DM'd me in Greek. So not yeah. Greeklish, but actual Greek writing. And I had to do a bit of Google Translate because yeah. while I do read and write, I mean, I'm a bit rusty sometimes. Yeah. And when I see a whole you wad of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like street signs, but not like an entire... Yeah, not a DM. You know. <laughs> if you slide into my DMs, please make them in English. Thanks. <laughs> I um, mean, the applications will be... <laughs> Because I have to send them on to Leanne to kind yeah, of, no, no, you know. Don't even start with the Greek. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So anyway, he's like, I follow well, you on this group. Exotic. He's oh, exotic. Exotic. Well, he's yeah. Armenian, which is exactly what the Kardashians are. Armenian Greek. Is he a Kardashian? No, oh, it's not well, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Rob, actually? I, I love Rob. I really like Rob. <laughs> but Rob also, who's dating? Uh, uh, oh, some, what's her name? A new one. Anyway. Yeah, but I haven't seen pictures of Rob in ages. Mm -hmm. I mean... You know, has he got a receding hairline? Yeah. Like, what's it's the story? Just get over I could side. totally be part of that family. I'm applying to be uh, Kylie's Stormy, best friend, yeah. Stormy's godmother. Yeah, you love makeup. You'll be amazing. love makeup. You can bring us lip kit, right? Yeah. Like, I'll and call it like at, what's your word? Ep eponymous. Yeah. Eponymous. <laughs> She'll help you. Look you at know? you. Yeah, See, I learning. think. You, you know what? Maybe we should go as like a duo and apply to okay. be a friend. Okay, like, I oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, are oh, they? <laughs> We're a little bit <laughs> We're born in chain. But you know what? I think I mean there's enough kids in that clan. There's like just Kim's in. kids, yeah. Chloe's baby. I'll What's her toys? name? True. Is her true? name true? Yeah. It's true. We're gonna be great. Yeah. Move to LA. Where do they live? My kids would want weird things. Ca Ca Calabasas. So, oh, I mean, Gia is too ordinary. <laughs> so I have to have like, like Gia and Gabriella. We need to rename them. We've got story, yeah. true, dream. Something with a K. Kia and Gabriella. Kia. <laughs> That's a car. <laughs> and you can be Key and I'll be Karen. Karen, Karen. with a K. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, I think it's a great plan. I really okay, think well it's a great go. plan. Yeah. I've oh, why not? I've got a Greek passport, babes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so tell me about this guy. So, anyway, so this guy DMs me. He's like, I follow this group. And I saw that you follow this group. So obviously you're a Greek living in London, which is not true. Did you just say yes? Um, so, well, first I had to like translate yeah. the message. And then I was like, he's saying I'm obviously in London. And then I realized how he got to that conclusion. Okay. Anyway, but he was like, it was lovely to meet you, but he's 25, mm -mm. not gonna work. You know, oh, I, you're not I 25. feel- You're not 25. You're not 25. But a man is always less mature than a woman. Yeah, so I need a guy that's older than me. So I could be 25, but oh, he can't okay. also so be 25. He needs to be 27. Yes. Yeah, Nikki, Although an ex-boyfriend yes. of mine was 27, and I, I kind of feel after 27 is a good age. Yeah. Because 27, did you know, is your first full um, sort of journey around, I don't know if it's around the sun, around the earth, oh. but you, you have like a, a big cathartic Cycle. moment at yeah. 27. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you either, like a lot of people uh, break up in from long relationships they've been in, they change career paths, they move countries. At 27? At 27. Wow. Yeah, That's and I mean, there's also the 27s Club with a lot of very yes. well-known people who've well, ended their lives yeah. because there is that like cathartic shift. crisis shift. Exactly, Amazing. exactly. So you want the person after the shift. Okay. You don't want to be like in the shift yeah. with them because you'll be having your own shift and you can't have two shifty people. I can't deal with your shift. I'm shifts. currently shifting. You can leave a voicemail. Yeah. Hi, you've reached her and I'm currently shifting, but <laughs> please call me next yeah. year. Please call me next year. <laughs> so yeah, so I mean, you oh, know, I'm, I'm kind of exploring different, nice. different avenues. Yeah. Uh, still not Is married. He he's cute. He's cute. His account is private and I haven't added him uh, as a friend. Do it. Or followed him. Yeah, I might just. Just follow him. You know, but. So um, if he's cute, if he's not, then. Yeah, then just. Unfollow. Unfollow. Yeah. yeah. But listen, you had, a, you had an amazing traditional love story. Yes. You didn't very... have to go on like Tinder. No, and I would not. And... Listen, <laughs> I'm so bad with my phone. I'd still she be is single. bad with her phone. She is so bad I'd with her phone. I'd still be single. Yeah, you if, would. If I had to date online, I'd be single. No, no. We met when I was 18 and then got together when I was Young 27. Young love. <gasps> Before or after the shift? Maybe during, because I felt pregnant. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Okay, there was your shift. You see, you were becoming a mom. Yes. So how long have you been together now? Almost married for nine, and together oh, wow. for 11. How old's my daughter? <laughs> she's not no, 11. No. no, she's not 11. But she's no, eight? Like, Gia's eight? Yes. Okay. So, she, we, so we've been married for eight. If she's eight, we've been married for eight, because okay. we got married after she was born. Okay. Because we 
rebels. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at you. That's modern and love. And we've been together for 10. For 10 years. Okay, so you're celebrating a decade. Mm -hmm. Are you doing something special to celebrate? Maybe. Yeah. It's, it's in September, so I still have time. Okay, Nikki great. wants to get remarried. Okay. Yeah. I think I should be the bridesmaid or the flower girl, yes. like one of the two. You missed my first wedding. So <laughs> I did. Listen. I did. So, so I need to make it up to you. Have to be. And my youngest daughter is very upset that she wasn't at our wedding. She's like, yeah. how could you get married without me? Like, yeah. We're not allowed wedding pictures around the house because she's like, well, I'm not in it. So. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> Take it down. Well, you know what? Her and I are like spirit animals. Yeah. And luckily for me, my parents, I was at their wedding. So I'm the flower girl, yeah. and so I'm in all the pictures. So I'm all about exactly. the wedding albums, the pictures, because it was really more about me than them. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I had the ball always, gown. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's a good practice run for you one day, hey? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know what's hysterical is when I look at pictures, like we did those shots of my mom in the middle as the bride and then us kissing her cheeks and stuff. Cute, I mean, the pictures were all about the kids. Us, the kids. Yeah. <laughs> We loved it. Cute, we absolutely man. loved it. So when I create my wedding pictures, I mean, you'll obviously be there to just yeah. ensure that everyone who needs to we'll, be in the we'll pictures some is kids there. For you. <laughs> Bella and Gia are great. Yeah. Let's start with them. Yeah, they can. Let's the chat cheek. to Kylie yeah. about Stormy, Stormy, Chloe about yeah. True. You know what let's, I'm lo saying? let's lock it down now. Let's lock it down. Yeah, <laughs> I think you need to get on that. I think when uh, yeah, one like. Uh, the longer we leave it, the more expensive it will be. So, <laughs> so you're going to have to spend some time on your phone to do that. Oh, that's fine. I'm yeah. good with Google. Yeah, you're very good with Google. Yeah. You're really good with yeah. Google. Now, I'm looking at your neck because we were discussing something this week called what? Tech Neck. Have you heard about it? What's Tech Neck? So do you see this line I have on my neck? Yeah. This is Tech Neck. It's one line. It's yeah. from spending time doing on the phone. this. Do I have a line? No. Because you're never on your phone. <laughs> well, that's fake. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's a real problem for millennials because we're so, always doing yeah. this. So it looks like this. But don't Have it. you ever tried to look at your phone like that? It's a natural thing. Yeah. I mean, the other day I met Zareda uh, for lunch and she was running a few minutes late and I was sitting at the table and we don't just sit at the table and wait. Obviously, I mean, I'm being productive. I'm doing things on yeah. my phone. Don't it be like a psycho reading the paper? No! <laughs> well, who are those yeah. people? Um, and she walked in and I didn't see her and she recorded this video of me sitting like on that. my phone. But I looked but now you're making very me... scary. Yeah, you've got to, you can't be looking down yeah. anymore. And I was on my phone and I was a bit like... Do you do the tongue thing to get this away? What's do the you, tongue do you thing? Mass massage your... Well, pulling the, this muscle tight under your tongue. Like this? So push your tongue against your teeth, or your, the, your bottom teeth. Yeah. And so what are we doing with this? <laughs> we're exercising this ah. muscle so it doesn't drop. Oh, okay. okay. Do you do that at, like at the robot or something? No, no, no. People just, think you've got road rage. You like actually figure that out now. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. So how many we'll of those should we do? Let's make it a thing. Maybe a thousand. A thousand. <laughs> a thousand a day. Yeah. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're back. Ah! I really am yes. so glad that you're also, back. I didn't realize how, I'm going to be very honest now, how, and not, well, uh, yes, how unhappy I was in Cape Town. I was okay. very unhappy. I was very, you know, all my friends are here, my family's here. And yeah, I've just I'm like I'm just so happy. I'm singing loud in my car. I'm like laughing the whole time. And yeah, I think you know what? I think a support system is totally important. Exactly, and yeah. it's something that when you don't have close friends yeah. or you don't have a network of people yeah. that have been through everything with I mean, you. We've got lots of friends, but they're not my best friends. They're not you. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is only one me. Yeah. So. I know. <laughs> See, when, I, when, when we became friends, I. I saw my other friends. I was like, okay, fine, guys. I yeah. need more friends. I got it. <laughs> the all quota in one. is got it all in one. But Kylie Jenner, you may just. I don't. I, yeah. No. Okay. I don't know, she's well, not I'm my safe. Favorite. Yeah. Okay. Not my favorite. I don't know. I mean, we should go Stormy's world. Chloe, obviously, yeah. because people always think I am Chloe, so I have she's to love her the most. She's looking amazing. She is looking amazing. Yeah. That I, I want to try that sort of like um, the, that. Yeah. What do you call it? A lob that like yeah, long lob and it's like sleek and like really super platinum, platinum yeah. except for the roots. Yeah. Um, and then just I once put her in a <laughs> brunette wig. Do you know how beautiful you looked? <laughs> you looked so beautiful. Those pictures came up on my um, memories? memories the other day. That was the same day that you nearly burnt the house down. Maybe. So Leanne is many things, but not a, no. a kitchen <laughs> aficionado. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll claim it. No, no, definitely. So we'd, we'd been to this Friday afternoon lunch, and what was it, like three or four hours later, we were feeling a little hungry again. And we wanted to eat toast. We wanted to eat toast. That's I mean, obviously, gluten free saying, toast. That's God no carbs. saying no carbs. Yeah. Put down the bread. <laughs> so we were sitting outside listening to music. I think we were looking through some of those beautiful, I think we might have been looking through a wedding album, actually, Tools and I. Oh, is it? Anyway, Leanne goes to the kitchen to make our toast. And the next second, the smoke, smoke starts blowing from the kitchen. So we go running through of smoke coming through. And needless to say, we've funny. never asked you to cook for us again. Was, but see, stuff it up the first time and then people, you're off the hook? You're actually off the hook. Did you're you do that hook? on purpose? Yes. <laughs> you're like, I'm just going to put this in here and I'm not going to... Where are you? He goes, oh my gosh, I went to Cape Town this weekend, fell over my friend's pot plant and broke his thumb. <gasps> so I was like, what? Because now I'm at the doctor now, they're putting a cast on, and I chose pink. So he is walking around with a bright pink cast. With this, I'm like, oh my gosh. I showed the girls, and they were like, need it, want it, it's love so it. amazing. <laughs> the girls also wanted my nails the no, other no, day. No, 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 they love your nails. Yeah. Love. You should really give them those stick-on ones. I think they're amazing. I have. And? Has it worked out? No, <laughs> just not. Okay, but listen, we're talking about getting in shape because I had a I had a moment sure. this week. Unbelievable. You know, it's Italian Fashion Day coming up in yes. the first week of March. So there's this incredible exhibition happening and the dresses that were worn by like the likes of Di well, Princess icons. Diana, yes. Monica Bellucci, <gasps> Marilyn Monroe, <gasps> Kate Moss, they're all, they're all coming to South Africa. So I've got the opportunity, we both do Did actually. they wash them? I hope they didn't. No, I think they. I mean, I think they've been dry cleaned and no, no, steamed. I don't want, and, I want to. Okay. Yeah. I want anyway, to touch the they've face. been in an exhibition, so I mean, they haven't been worn for yeah. lots of years, since the fifties and sixties. But the funniest thing was, I went for a fitting on Tuesday. Okay. Now these dresses are from the sixties, and the dress that's been allocated to me is a Valentino. <gasps> it is. Oh, unbelievable. Spectacular. So it's a black shift dress with like a beautiful empire bow. Yeah. And then this bedazzled, beautiful cropped oh jacket. Oh my gosh! So okay, it's like... from the Valentino Night Collection. It is spectacular. So I go to the change room just to try it on for size. Yeah. I mean, it can't be altered, obviously. Yeah. And I take it off the hanger because they packaged. I mean, they've been flown in from Italy. Unbelievable. And, and they're they going to be on display. They're going to be on display, but but this one oh. I'm going to be wearing. To get to keep it. No. Run away with it. <laughs> just run away. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked this up. This so, so I pick it up to, to try on in the change room and I hadn't opened the, 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 the dress packaging yet. So I take it out and I'm thinking, I mean, obviously it's going to fit me, right? Yeah. Because, hello. Yeah, it's Valentino. It's I take it out and the dress <gasps> is this big. Okay. It's Gia size? Beautiful. Probably Bella's, Bella's size. size. Bella's H4? size. Yeah. So I'm like, how? I mean, wow. 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 Then I was like, do I feel bad about myself or do I think this is a very small cut yeah. dress? The jacket fit beautifully. It's Italian. It's, so I'll be wearing yeah. it. It's Italian. Yeah. Um, but, but the dress was literally this big. I mean, it would probably fit around my one leg. I could wear it as like a leg warmer, leg warmer accessory. <laughs> No. Yeah, so that was my uh, Italian uh, ensemble yeah. experience, but Can't I'm excited to, to wear the jacket. Do. Can't wait to see what you do with it. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not going to wear the dress because yeah. oh, no, doesn't it doesn't. No, I can't. <laughs> but you must. It's not that kind of thing. But you <laughs> must. <laughs> Force yourself. Have you? I mean, you've had a modelling career, and have you ever had one of those situations where you get an outfit and it, it doesn't just doesn't fit. fit? Yes. It's my worst fear. Lots. <laughs> Many times. So what happens? Even on shoots, and they have to cut. The, the garment at the back to make it fit. Lots. Oh yes. my gosh. Yes, lots. You see, if you But I got it, no shame. I'm okay, a, are you just like, hi, it doesn't fit me? It doesn't fit. Listen, I'm not a size zero. zero. And if you want me, make it fit. And that's it. Yeah. And that's, yeah. I mean, I've seen on a lot of shoots, models have got outfits because they so tiny they've got them pulled and and pegged yeah. together so that's never happened to me no, that, oh yeah no, that's no, never no, happened, happened to, me. to me has it yeah. okay <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. sorry i haven't i haven't ever had anything pegged <laughs> when it does it's catch this guys yeah it's being pegged yeah. my... <laughs> when i went to the grammys last year um dore gave me a beautiful gown to wear and um obviously it was it needed to be ready to wear and yeah. i'm a little shorter than i think the yeah. average person so um, and obviously we couldn't alter anything, but I tried on all these dresses and they were so, so super long. long for me. 
I thought it doesn't matter how high the heel is that I'm going to wear, it's like still too it's long. still going to be too yeah. long. And then I found the perfect gown. It fit. It was like it was made for me. And I just put it on. I wore it. Yeah. And it was perfect. Do you know how many times I've borrowed dresses from designers for events, and it's so long, and it's so even on you. Yeah, and it's uncomfortable, and it's like you're falling over yourself, and oh, yeah. So yeah, you've got the dress has got to be nice. easy to wear. Yeah. It's always nice, but you also have to be comfortable because otherwise it shows. Yeah, for Style Awards this last year, I wore. It was the first time I'd worn like a huge ball I gown. Loved it. I also loved it, but it, it's a lot of work to wear a dress it's like exhaust. that. You've got to move people. I mean, yeah. I love that. I was like, coming through, <laughs> excuse me, part ways. Because I walked down the aisle once I'd come off stage and people had left their champagne glasses. Uh, clink, and clink, as clink. I walked, it was like, clink, 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 <laughs> smash, smash, smash. <gasps> Oops, sorry. Oh I mean, you, you really have to know yeah. how to wear a dress like that. And like you say, with the design as well, if it's got like a long train, train. or something. Yeah, it's just an uncomfortable, especially like a long train when you're with a lot of people, a big event. Someone steps on it and... You know? Yeah, and especially if it's a designer dress, yeah, you, don't you don't really want, want torn, people to. Yeah, so when it tears, you're like. Oh, Has that ever sorry, happened to you? Yes. Has it? Yeah. And what do you do? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Do you know what I did a couple of years ago? I'd gone with um, the Proteas to to their one day cricket test in, yeah. or not one day, the international cricket series in Australia. And I'd sang the South African anthem. Oh, wow. And I'd gotten all these oh, dresses wow. from South African designers to wear. And it was amazing. Wear all the dresses, fly home on Qantas, yeah, like Qantas. Princess, front, princess for a day. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even put them in my case. I carried them in a suit bag just to make sure that I didn't lose them yes, or I, nothing yeah, happened to them. And I left them on the plane. Now, if you think about it, if you've got a suit bag, generally your name isn't on it. Yes. There's nothing that you can identify yeah. that as being yours, or to prove it at least. Uh, and you know, Australians are very strict with rules and things. Yeah. And they said to me, I called the airline and, and I said, like, I've what? left this bag. They said to me, how will you identify it? How do we know it's yours? So I told them the seat I sat in and they said, well, we haven't picked anything up. And it was hanging at the front, you know, in that cupboard. Yes. Anyway, luckily I was able to actually describe the every dress. single dress that was yeah. in there. One of them was a uh, um, Spiro Vigliotti, also a big gold dress with gold discs all over it. And I think the fact that I could describe that with yeah. the, the gold rope that tied the dress and all of that they were like, okay. helped me to get the yeah, stuff like, back. Okay, that's too much detail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's yeah, yours. It's Come yours. and get it. Take and it. I know you're very passionate <laughs> about this dress. You're like, this, it's like you're writing for Vogue. <laughs> The dress glistens in yeah. the sun when you... <laughs> and I said, it's, it's Spiro's eponymous brand. That's See, and that, that threw them yeah. and they were like, like okay, Fine. she's for real. <laughs> Amazing, and you got your dresses back? I got but the dresses back. what a back. nightmare. No, it was a nightmare. It was an actual nightmare. Wow. But I don't know if you watched last week's podcast. I mean, obviously, yes, obviously. you did. Um, but I was chatting about I was chatting about this flight, and I know a lot of you have wanted to know the end of that story because I've had a lot of flight incidents. Did you? I don't, you know what my problem is, is I don't count travel time. I can be in Santon from 9 to 10 and then I book something in Pretoria at, at 10. 10. Yeah. And then... We all do that. You know, yeah. if I had a helicopter it would be fine, yeah. but I don't. Well, so I'm, I'm choppering just now. So oh. I was like, yes. Where are you choppering to? Going away for the weekend. Ooh. But, then, but then to pack for a weekend away on a chopper, you know, it makes it very difficult. Can but there not be a second chopper that comes I with know, your luggage? Like, you can't take hard bags. But it's like soft bags. Oh. Mm. Oh, because obviously there isn't space. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a little PJ. So anyway, that's so exciting. Story. Anyway, so uh, I, I ended last week on saying that I got into the Uber. New Uber driver who was very sort of gracious, such a gentleman, amazing, but didn't understand the dire need to get to, to get the to airport in town. So as we took the on-ramp, is it to the N1? Um, I said to him... Uh, I really, I really need to get to the airport. Like, <laughs> and I, I phoned British Airways, and there wasn't another flight, so I needed to get on that flight. There was no option. So he turned to me and he said, "You know, my friends call me Schumacher." <laughs> but that's what you want to hear. So, so I was yeah. like, "Okay, why do they call you Schumacher?" He said to me, "Because I drive like Michael, you know, first name yeah. basis." Yeah. So I said to him, "You know what? You're gonna have to show me. You're gonna yeah. have to show me how you I drive don't know. like." I believe you. Yeah. Do I you know, know that I got to the airport in oh, twelve? Good. Bumps. Minutes. No. Twelve minutes. I don't know how many speeding tickets this poor guy got. Sure. But he just we, to and then he said you. to me, "I'm driving like I'm from Joburg." 
<laughs> I said, that's great, because that's where I'm from, that's fine. Oh, was he in Cape Town? I was in Cape Town, I was going to Cape Town International. Yeah. I literally got to the airport, then he wanted to exchange pleasantries at the end oh, of the trip. Shit. I was like, it's been real, five you've got stars. five stars, best Uber trip ever. He was Michael. like, really? Yo, Michael, <laughs> Thanks, yes. Michael. Yes. 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 Uh, ran into the ran into the airport, ran up to the counter, and then you know I'm such a chatty Kathy. I was talking to this woman. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so late, but I didn't actually realize the time, and I just really needed yeah. to get here. And my Uber driver drove yeah. really fast. He was driving like Michael yeah. Schumacher. It was crazy. Yeah. It was insane. She was just like, ma'am, it's you, you're here yeah. on time. That's yeah. that's fine. The, fine. the gate's How closing many bags in one minute. Do you have? Yeah, I had one bag. Oh luckily, yeah. uh, but I got into the flight. So that but is... It's not a nice feeling. No. I hate being that stressed. That so, stressed, like running, yeah, I, hate I, it. I can't do it. No. It actually gives me so severe anxiety. Did you? Mm. So you had five hours to get here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is Joburg traffic. It is yeah, Joburg well, traffic. I was just like, I'm not, I'm not late. And then I was late. <laughs> 9.30, I was like, hi, I'm just I checking you yeah. en route. Uh, I'm still at home. I'm still at home. Luckily, you don't live far. Yeah. But you know what? When, when it's live, when it's like live TV or a live recording, you can't... Yeah. You have to go live at 10. I know. You know, it's not, a, it's yeah. not an option. You could but have phoned me and could have, we could have video called. Yeah, we could have video called. Yeah, but, video you know, called. I, would, I wanted you in my hot age, seat. So... Video call, <laughs> you know? so, you leave, so you leave today... Leave today, going away for the weekend. Yeah, I'm in back in a helicopter. Day. Yeah, so I was nice. a little bit nervous. Well, I'm not was. I, I am a little bit nervous, but um, yeah, great. Right, everything will go okay. Okay, and you've got a soft like duffel bag to put yes. your stuff in. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So no heels. Oh, but you don't need heels in the bush. I know, but maybe for a photo. Maybe. Yeah. And uh, I don't take photos anymore. Like I'm only posting old stuff or like. I saw your throwback yesterday. You look what? exactly like Gia. No, but do you know why I've got so many throwbacks? I've got hundreds. Because you're going through your photos. Because I'm going through <laughs> all my old boxes. Because I, I said every box that comes into the house, I need to unpack. Otherwise, they just stay like that for years. Yeah. So I un literally unpacked everything that we have. Those pictures so are young. so cute. And I see Gia so you, much you in do? your pictures. I completely see you. And that fringe with your school picture. Yeah, I love fringes. Me too. Yeah. So is that the last time you had a fringe? Um, no, no, no. no Have you had a fringe since? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's great. Like, yeah. I, love, I love that look, but it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And I need an extra 45 minutes in the morning just to see, perfect. Because I've got a cow's lick, so my yeah. fringe doesn't sit straight. Yeah. And I need it to sit straight yeah, no, no, if I'm going to no, wear that. No, okay, no, so we're going to see some safari chic outfits from you this weekend. Not really? I oh. only have... No, no, no. All my clothes, I don't have hangers. So everything's like still being unboxed. Pressed and, and unboxed. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. I need to go, go to macro and buy hangers. <laughs> so then you become the queen of macro. Like every I, time I, I, I love, see you, you're en route to macro. I love mass shopping. I love it. <laughs> I love, ma I love yeah, mass shopping. Like I need... 10 uh, detergents and, and I need, I want to open my You're cupboard. like a couponer. Yeah. Oh, An extreme you know couponer. how much I love that <laughs> show? Please don't tell anyone. So when the kids are at home, I'm at school and I've germed or whatever, I love watching that. I go, wow. Wow, Susan, you go, girl. Yeah. And is it like their basement is just filled with yeah, like I love that. sunlight I and like, toilet paper? Yes. <laughs> I want that. I don't have the space for it. Well, I'm sure that you need to rush off to macro uh, yes. before you before I'm you here. get on on your helicopter. So that brings us to the end of Spilt Tea no! episode two. Oh, when are we recording? <laughs> when are we starting? What? <laughs> I mean, this is just like us. It's been up. I love you. amazing to have you on the show. I love you. I love you. And on this episode. And we are so thankful to all of you that have tuned in. And we want to hear from you. What more would you like to see? Give us some ideas of some guest co hosts that you'd like to see on the show. Leanne, obviously, has been an incredible Thank guest you, co host. It's just been like having tea I together. Know. Cheers. I mean, usually it's bubbles, but hey. Yeah. <laughs> It's too early. I was like, oh, please don't tell me there's wine, please. No, no, no. So you can follow all of the behind the scenes stuff on at Spilt Tea Podcast and um, tune in on live, uh, tune in live on YouTube and on SoundCloud. And we'll see you same time, same place next week. <laughs>